Now that we've seen, at least conceptually, how our model will separate deviations that are due to subject differences, that is, the overall deviations due to individual subjects' preferences for giving high or low ratings, and the variance due to differences in the actual wine measurements, let's move forward and actually step through these models and jump. Now, I want to pause and just say before we do that, that the decomposition I've showed you is not really how our models will actually separate out air. It turns out that our models will be estimating the variance of these random levels independently of the variability of our fixed levels. Now, we won't get into the modeling details. Again, I want to spare you those in this practical application of repeated measures. But I do want to say that our models are not really subtracting out the mean from each subject's score. That's simply a nice conceptual way to think about how we're decomposing our observations into effects that are due to subject differences and effects that are due to wine differences. So now, let's step forward and we're going to look at two different data sets. Now, the wine ratings, four levels within, split, is the data set that actually has the observations laid out like the table I just showed you. That is, for each subject, each judge, we have four different columns, one for each wine. Now, that's not actually how we'll want the data when we're actually analyzing it in Jump. That is, this split data set, this wide data form, is not how Jump will expect to get the data. So let's stop for a second and talk about data arrangements. Now, the one I just showed you is what is called a split data set or a wide data set. So observations from the same unit of analysis in these data sets are represented across columns. Now, what Jump will want, and a lot of software will want, for the type of analysis we're going to do, a mixed model analysis, we want data that is stacked or in long format. And those are data sets where observations from the same unit, the same subject, are actually represented across rows. So what we're looking to do is to convert a data set like this, where we have wide data or split data, and convert it into a stacked form, which is going to look like this. Notice in this case, each judge here takes up four rows, and the four different observations across wine are identified by a separate column. So we'll actually have a column that lists off wine, one, two, three, and four, and then the actual ratings from that subject for each of those wines. Now, to perform this operation, we won't need to manually change our data set around. You should never be doing anything manual when you're working on your data. There's always a way to do it in an automated way. And in Jump, we're going to use a tables feature called Stack. And Stack will, like it says, stack those repeated observations that are represented across columns, and it'll stack them across rows. So what we'll end up with is that stacked data set the one in which we actually have each wine on separate rows for each subject. Let's see how we're going to do this.